Hi and welcome back to Matt's class. This is the second video at looking at sketching exponential and logarithmic equations and we are specifically now looking at the change of base rule. So you'll understand what I mean by that once I show you what it is. Uh, the change of base rule can be used both for a logarithm and also for an exponential expression. So the rule that you've got is written there. Log base a of x is equal to log base b of x over log base b of a. And we, that means that instead of writing something as a single logarithm, I can change the bases. And there might be lots of reasons why I would like to do that. So this is where, it, first of all, where it comes from. Oh, I need to switch. There we go. Okay, so I'll just start by writing let y equal log base a of x. And then that means that I can rewrite that using my exponential notation instead of my logarithmic notation, that a is going to be the base, y is going to be the power, and that's all going to equal x. So I've got a to the power of y equals x is an equivalent expression, which means that this y and this y are still the same. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a third variable. So I've got y's and x's here, I'm now gonna go to base b and I'm going to take logarithm base b of both sides. So if I do the same thing to both sides of this equation, it's still true. So I'm simply writing log base b of a to the power of y equals log base b of x. Oh, that's terrible. Okay, now I'm going to use my laws of logarithms. I've got a power here. The argument of this logarithm is raised to the power of y. I can rewrite that as y times log base b of a. And those are equivalent, still equal to log base b of x. And you can see now that I'm almost there. If I divide both sides by log base b of a, I can rewrite this as log, sorry, as y equals log base b of x over log base b of a. But y, if you remember, is equal to log base a of x. So this all equals log base a of x. And that's what gives me this rule up here. Log base a of x is equal to log base b of x over log base b of a. Now I don't have any examples to show you of how we do that using logarithms, although you will occasionally find some popping up. They're quite rare, but we will definitely see what we do with the change of base rule when we're looking at exponentials. So same thing here, I'm rewriting a to the power of x with a new base, base b to the power of something times x, where that something is log base b of a. Now, seeing where this comes from is much more straightforward. First of all, you need to recognize that if I start with b and then I raise that to the power of log base b of a, then because this is um, the inverse operation, b to the power of and then log base b, that cancels each other out and I just get a, okay? Because this is saying log base b to what power will give me an answer of a, and now let's raise b to that power and I will get an answer of a. Okay, so that's, that's an inverse operation. They cancel each other out. If I now raise both sides of this equation to the power of x, then you can see that this leads me to this expression up here. If I expand this, that x will be multiplied by the power there, and I'll have a to the power of x equals b to the power of log base b of a times x. Now, if I consider a and b as parameters, that means constants in a function, and if I consider x to be a variable, then what I'm doing there is I'm rewriting a to the power of x as b to the power of some k times x, which means, and this is its most common use, um, that I can rewrite any function f of x equals a to the power of x as e to the power of kx. So a to the power of x can be rewritten as e to the power of kx. And one of the most useful things about that 
is in the areas of calculus. If I'm differentiating e to the power of kx, then I've got a simple rule. I don't have a rule for differentiating a to the power of x. I need to rewrite it in this form and that is why we would do that. So let's do this example. I need to rewrite y equals 3 to the power of x as a dilation of y equals e to the power of x. So it's y equals 3 to the power of x, but I need it to be e to the power of. Now my base here is 3, so a is 3 in this. So it's going to be log base e of 3. Now, if you just look at this part, e to the power of log base e of 3 just equals 3. And if I now raise that to the power of x, then that means that I've got um, an equivalent expression. This is equal to 3 to the power of x. So what this means now is if I needed to find dy dx, I can simply say, well, log base e of 3, that's just a number. So I can say dy dx equals log base e of 3 times e to the power of log base e of 3 x. So you can see why that's useful. Okay, that is our little video on the change of base rule.